Welcome or welcome back to Data Science Pursuit. In the previous videos, we mentioned that R and Python are two of the most popular programming languages for data science. At the end of the last video, we also advised absolute beginners when it comes to programming to focus on one language at a time. And we're mostly referring to the basics here. Once you learn the basics of one programming language, it'll be easier for you to learn other languages after if needed. So just a note here, you do not have to take our advice at all. We know that people learn differently, so do whatever you believe will work best for you. Both languages are free and open source, so go right ahead. But if you do wanna focus on one first or just learn one instead of the other, which is an option too, in this video, I'll give you some information to hopefully help you make a decision. All right, before we dive into a comparison, let me ask you some questions that may help you make a decision faster. Number one, what do the companies you want to work for use or prefer? From looking at job postings, I noticed that most large tech companies do not seem to have a preference between R and Python. However, the Microsoft job posts I found mentioned Python, but not R. So if Microsoft is top of your list, then start with Python. From what I found, OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT, also uses Python. And on the R side, I noticed that in research, particularly in academia, R seems to be favored over Python. So you may want to start with R in that case. And then number two, you may be an absolute beginner in programming, but do you have experience in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets? If yes, then start with R. Some people say it's easier to learn R if you know Excel compared to Python, that is. And number three, do you want to explore areas outside of data science or statistical analysis? If your answer is yes, start with Python and we'll find out why in the next slide. Okay, let's look at the comparison. Well, Python? Python is a general purpose programming language. So you can do a lot of different things with Python, like web development, software engineering, and of course, data science, etc. Python becomes the better choice when it comes to more advanced machine learning, like what's called deep learning. It just has more powerful frameworks for that. Python is also better for some data engineering or data acquisition tasks as well. It's all around more scalable too. While R was specifically made for statistical analysis, so it's easier to do things like data cleaning and EDA, I also find that running less complex machine learning models in R is easier than in Python. There's just less data manipulations you need to do well, compared to Python. This goes back to the last question that I asked previously, whether or not you want to explore areas outside of data science and statistical analysis. So if so, start with Python because it can do a lot more. Next, Python is also the more popular of the two languages. Uh, so it has a large community, well, larger than R, so you have lots of help and lots of code to copy from. But R is pretty popular too, and its community is not as large as Python, but it's very active. And since it's more specialized to statistical analysis and data science, you find more answers and code specific to what you need as a data scientist. You may be wondering why we care about community. Well, the best code is code written by someone else. So the more there is to copy, the better. You can find data science communities on Stack Overflow or Kaggle websites, and maybe we'll link those down below. All right, uh, going back to the comparison, Python has minimal syntax as well. It uses white space and emphasizes code readability. However, I find that the syntax rules for 
Python are less forgiving compared to R. So R may be less frustrating for beginners when you start to learn it. I also find that when it comes to the basics, R can be a little easier to learn compared to Python, whereas when you get the more to the more like advanced topics, then Python becomes easier to learn. But I started learning Python first and I was new to programming. So generally, you know, whatever you start learning can always seem more difficult. So if anyone felt differently, please leave a comment down in the comment section and that could help other people out. Right. Lastly, uh, both programming languages can produce visuals but R just has nicer visuals and they are easier to make. Python has been closing the gap on this one but R is still definitely in the lead. So hopefully this helped you make a decision. If not, you really can't go wrong with either languages. The important thing is to start. So you can just pick one. I use um, both. And even though they excel at different things, they have both individually gotten the job done for whatever data science tasks I've, I've done. All right. Uh, some of you may be asking, why learn both languages? The quick answer is flexibility. Like I mentioned, they each excel at different tasks. So there are instances where I've used both in projects and combined their strengths because my company allows for that. Think back to earlier in the video when I asked the three questions. I mentioned that for hiring, most tech companies didn't seem to have a preference between R and Python. So you could find that there are a couple of companies that use a bit of both languages as well. So I do believe knowing both means you have more flexibility, not just in the choice of jobs, but also in projects. But you will also be just fine with learning just one of the languages. But yeah, learning both will give you more flexibility. So we've come to the end of our video. I just want to close off by emphasizing a couple of things. You can't go wrong with either languages. They're both free, so you can just pick either one and start your magical journey through programming. Next, we will start our introductory programming courses for Python and R. These two courses will cover all the basics or fundamentals to get you ready to start programming for data science. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.